Jabui Sang. Good morning, guys. Today, I'm quite excited because yesterday I built a smoker, and today I'm going to test it out with a kilo of pork. Before that, so I've been in Hanoi for the last week and I just got back to Ho Chi Minh. If you guys can't tell, I got a haircut. I'm not looking my usual countryside self, just wake up and go do something. But I went to a hair salon called 30 Shine. It's a hair salon for men. You know, friendly staff, did the hair pretty much how I wanted them to do it. And as a foreigner, sometimes getting a haircut in Vietnam, it's always an interesting experience, but it can go uh, both ways. But with 30 Shine, they did it pretty much how I wanted them to do it. And they also have a seven step process where they're washing your face, using some electric thing, cleaning your pores, even a rei tai, rei tai, cleaning your ears, which is da. Really enjoyed that. So if you guys are interested, 30 Shine is based all over Vietnam from the north to the south, and it's quite easy to find. And overall, I'm very happy with the service. The hair came out good. And getting the skin treatment, it's, uh, it was a new experience, and to be honest, I, I enjoyed it. So if you guys are interested, 30 Shine, hair salon for men, go check it out. All right, back to the video. I filmed that clip yesterday, because uh, today I haven't done anything with my hair, just kind of woke up. But you can see right here, look at this. This is my smoker. It's not a big smoker, just because it's the first one that I've made so far in Vietnam, so I can change things in the future, but for right now, it's okay. So you can see right here, we have a pot. I think this is the pot you put water inside to use for a bath. I'm not sure, but I turned it into a smoker. In the very bottom right here, that's where I'm gonna have the fire. So inside, this will accumulate the smoke. I want that smoke flavor to penetrate the meat, so it tastes ruck long. So with the coconut husk, you can pretty much use most fruit trees. That's kind of the rule of thumb. When I used to smoke meat back in California, I would use different wood. In Vietnam, I'm kind of limited, so yesterday I spent a great deal of time collecting and chopping up coconuts. So some dried out coconut husk. I have chicken wire in the center that I'll fill with charcoal. Not too much though. You'll be setting it in the center because you don't want it to burn, you just want it to smoke. So you don't want any direct fire. Soup sick, soup sick. Oh my God. I have chicken wire right here. You guys can see how it's placed inside. So I put the meat directly on this. Yesterday I smoked a small piece just to test it out and it actually worked quite well. I use this cement slab right here to put on top of it to collect and accumulate the smoke. So it gives that meat very nice smoke flavor. This is chicken wire, you guys. This is for the charcoal, because I need the charcoal to stay in here for the smoking. So I need to get the charcoal lit first, get it nice and hot and have everything else burn up. Fire is lit, which is good. We need to wait for everything here to get burned up. All we need is charcoal. That's it. We just want charcoal. So maybe 20 minutes? I don't know. So this is the basic setup. Got the charcoal underneath, so I can still put charcoal there. Right now there's still a little bit of wood smoke, so I need to let that burn off. And then maybe in five, 10 minutes we'll be good to go. But now it's time to get the meat ready. Soup, come on. That's not for you. Come on, Didi. Barbecue sauce. Tamwa. Here are the coconut husks that I was collecting and then chopping up. So I'll be using this for the smoke. You set the tin can right there. It's not gonna fall through, but pretty much I put the coconut husk on it like this because the tin pan's gonna get quite hot. So that smoke right there, that's what we want right now. So it's been about five minutes or so. The only thing that I bought from the store is tin foil or aluminum foil. Um, I'm purposely trying to do this just with a bunch of random objects because I want other people in Vietnam or the countryside, if you guys want to copy me, it's quite easy. With the aluminum foil, when the meat starts cooking, I want to keep all the fat and all the juices on here rather than falling into the fire pit. So the aluminum foil will help maintain that. 
All right, you guys, I'm switching over to my GoPro. So, I don't know how well you can see right now. I'll film both. But you can see this right here. So, the chicken wire, what's nice, you can bend it. So, if I want to make a bigger platform, I can do that. And it's already, wow, this is already super, super hot. So, every once in a while, I'll need to put more coconut husk in, but I can move this. It's easy to move. I can just pick it up and lift up. You can see down. So, it's not too difficult. But I need the aluminum foil. Okay, let's put the meat on. <coughs> oh, yeah. So, it's smoking quite well right now. Actually, it's probably a little too much meat to do this, but that's okay. We'll figure out how this is going to work later. You can use just big chunks of meat, but the thing is, today I'm still kind of experimenting and seeing how this works because I don't know how fast it's going to cook because I don't have a thermometer. Um, it's a lot of just trial and error at the moment. Kilo of meat. I'm going to cover the top now, and then we're going to slow cook it for, I actually have no idea how many hours, but for a while. Okay. Looking pretty good. Okay. I mentioned before I don't have a thermometer, so I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know how hot it gets inside, so I have to check it periodically. It might be a little dry or not cooked well enough, um, but it gets quite hot. It's like an oven, so I have to put charcoal on continuously. With the coconut husk, I'll probably have to put on, I don't know, maybe every 30 minutes or so, i got to put a little bit more on. Uh, we'll kind of see how it goes, because again, it's trial and error. I've made this before in the United States, but using a grill, it's a lot easier. Uh, with this though, I'm, I'm feeling quite optimistic. I'm feeling good. I think this will be successful. Couple concerns. One, again, I can't regulate temperature. Two, this pot. I don't know how well it tolerates heat. Ugh. I'm getting lightheaded. So if it gets too hot, it could potentially break and then I won't have a video. For this video, I'm just using barbecue sauce. I'm gonna have to find uh, like a foreign market because I'm gonna try to get some other spices so I can make it a little bit with an American style, how we'd smoke some meats. But um, today, trial and error, we'll see how it comes out. Yeah, a lot of waiting. But real quick, it's only been like five minutes, but if I open it up, nothing. <laughs> nothing, but okay, let's leave it. All right, it's been about an hour. Touching this, this is actually really hot. I have my guard dog right here protecting the meat so uh, nothing can touch it, especially any rats. But yeah, super hot. Let me take this off. In the first look, I'm going to try to get that to focus. So you can see that it's cooking up. It's hot. I can't hold it very long. The only concern that I have, it might be a little bit dry, and there's a couple pieces behind that fell. I need to put some more coconut shavings on. So I'll grab a piece and then throw it on. But I have to do this while filming, which is hard. Let's do a smaller piece. Okay. So how I made it, it's kind of easy, so I can pull this aside. Just drop it down there, you're good to go. I'm putting coconut husk on maybe every like 20 minutes or so, so you can see the smoke already. So with the fire, we got a little bit of charcoal at the moment, so I'll put some more charcoal, make sure it's hot. This is super hot. So again, it's hard to regulate the temperature, so it might be a little bit dry, but I can always throw some more barbecue sauce on it. Actually, I'm going to throw some more barbecue sauce on it. This is not exactly how you smoke meat, but just looking at the stuff. Damn it! Just dropped a piece. So here's a, a piece right now. So it, it's looking quite good. Um, I'm not really sure how it's going to come out, but regardless, I'll eat it. So I'm going to put some more charcoal on, and then we'll let it sit for a little while longer. So that's after some charcoal and a little bit of coconut husk. Starts smoking right back up. All right, it's the moment of truth. It's been smoking for uh, three, three hours, two hours, three hours. I don't remember, nine o'clock, it's around 12. Three hours, I think three hours. I'm not sure, but let's open it up, take a look at it and try it. It looks good, but does it taste good? I don't know, so let's take it out. Look at that. No, 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 soup sick, no. No, soup sick. Go away. Let me take it all off. So here we go. 
It was a kilo of meat, but I did drop a couple pieces inside, so that's kind of the aftermath. So I won't be eating those pieces. Look at that. And they're soup sick. All right, take a look at that. Is it focusing? So I don't know how well it's gonna focus. Focus. This one. Ah, oh, soup sick. So this one looks. Johnny, like soup sick. I'm trying to film right now. Stop barking at the other dogs. All right. So this one right here looks a little dry. Um, the ones with a bit more fat, obviously they're not gonna be as dry because it has some fat. So focus it. Come on, focus. That's okay. So yeah, so smoke this for, smoke this probably about three hours. So this is the first time using my smoker. Um, and again, I just made it from a ceramic pot, chicken wire, bricks, charcoal, aluminum foil. That's pretty much it. I just use a sh like a shovel and kind of move things around. But uh, yeah, okay, here we go. That's good. So one thing with it, since it has the barbecue taste, which which is which I want. But the next time I'm going to be making a rub, and I have a lot of small pieces, which it's not necessarily the best. Um, I'd prefer to do a big chunk of meat and smoke the whole thing for longer. First piece was good. It was moist, it had a nice smoky flavor. Like this one, for example. That's gonna be super dry and dark. So I'll try to find another piece that's gonna taste a little bit better. So, okay. So this piece right here doesn't have too much fat, so it's mostly just meat. Actually quite well, because it's not too chewy. Sometimes, like with smoking, if you smoke it too long or it's too hot, you're just gonna dry the meat out and it's gonna taste like crap. But this is actually not that bad. It's good. Because with smoking before in the United States, I used to make my own bacon, which I, I'll do for a video. It takes like seven days of curing, um, depending on my schedule. It takes, you know, we'll say a week, about a week to make the bacon. But bacon's a lot easier to make because it'd be cold smoking. I hope so I won't really be cooking it. I'll just get the smoke flavor. Hey! <laughs> Crazy dogs. But yeah, bacon's a bit easier, but I can smoke fish, birds, ducks, you name it. Even rats. If I kiss some rats, I can smoke some rats. But this, uh, this came out really well. For the first time, I'm happy with this. There will need to be some adjustments and things that I need to do to change it up. In the future, maybe I can make a much bigger smoker where I can smoke. I don't know. Like... Like soup sick size, you know she's a she's a fairly decent size. She's a small dog, but not too small, but around that size. I'm not saying when I smoke soup sick, but I'm just saying like something that size where I can smoke a lot. But that will take me a bit more time. It's not bad. If the meat it doesn't have a lot of marbling and fat inside, it's gonna be a tiny bit dry. So some of the pieces are very good. Other pieces are drier, so it just kind of depends. I plan to reinvent a lot of my old hobbies that I used to do in California. So smoking meat, curing meat, and a lot of fermentation. So I actually um, fermented foods for a good solid seven years or so, and I'm really into fermenting foods. Um, even gardening. Gardening is a little bit trickier because where I live in the situation, but gardening is something that I would like to do or smart start something, maybe a little bit small. Um, but for you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really proud of myself because the smoker it worked. There are some things that I do need to change. Um, that's okay. It's the first time making a smoker here with a, a pot and chicken wire. And just very simple stuff. But if you like this video, guys, if you want to help support my channel, make sure to leave a comment, like the video, share, subscribe, because uh, that helps me. And it help, encourages me to make more videos for you guys. So, as always, I'm going to eat this. Semi. Okay, bye.